As the Earth's urban population increases, what impact will our cities have on our planet? On our way of life and our future? Last year, we crossed an invisible but extraordinary milestone. More than half the people on Earth now live in cities. That's more than three billion people living and working in a small percentage of our planet's landmass. By 2050, the number will reach more than six billion. By then, our children's children will know that we either acted with the urgency and common sense needed to meet the challenges of urbanization and climate change, or they'll wonder why we didn't. It's time for bold action. Before we build and rebuild the homes, schools, and businesses that will support an increasingly urban world, we must set a new global standard for climate-positive urban developments that will minimize the environmental impact while sustaining or improving our quality of life. High-rise buildings that create more clean energy than they used. Waste that heats our homes instead of polluting our land. Water treatment systems that don't waste a drop. By taking an integrated approach to solving both urbanization and climate change, the solutions we create will drive innovation, create prosperity, and transform our cities. To demonstrate how this can be done economically, my foundation's Climate Initiatives Climate Positive Development Program will integrate our full range of city programs in clean energy, waste, water, transportation, lighting, and building efficiency. It will set new global CO2 emissions performance standards for large-scale community developments that will have clear economic benefits for surrounding communities. The projects on six continents supported by visionary local governments and far-sighted property developers will help us lead this effort and challenge others to follow. These groundbreaking projects are striving to become climate positive by producing more clean energy than they use, designing ultra-high performance green buildings, turning garbage and sewage into heat and power, eliminating methane from landfills on site, reusing gray water, reclaiming brown fields, and prioritizing low-impact transportation, such as walking, biking, and public systems. When these initial projects are completed, nearly a million people will live and work in a climate-positive community. Individually, the projects will transform their communities, and collectively, they'll set a new global benchmark for developments all across the world. There's not a moment to waste in our race against climate change, and there's no better time to act than now.